Great, that's great. And I didn't even have any coffee today either, so that's a little, that'd probably be good. I probably won't pace quite as much as if I'd had coffee. But uh, as, as Shannon came, my name is Dan Kellogg, and this group does hold a lot of special memories to me, for me, uh, because I've worn lots of different hats, torn, taken off a lot of my hair when I've worn them, I guess, I don't know. But I've sang in the group as a, as a singer, traveled as a sponsor. Zan spent her first three birthdays on tour, as a matter of fact, uh, so when she was just a little one. So uh, we had a lot of fun doing all that. That's where I met my wife. So whether or not she has as many fond memories of it as I do, I don't know. That's something you'll have to take up with her later. But uh, it's great. I mean, there's so many neat things that you all get to experience, especially for those of you it's your first time out. Uh, obviously, it's always a culinary experience, if nothing else, you know. Uh, we've had tours where the tour is all about going to every cafeteria that Byron can find, because that's the area he wants to eat at cafeterias. And uh, some tours, it's every church you go to has spaghetti every single night. And that's really nice, the first and second and third, and, and, but you know, but you, you get the idea. And who knows what it's going to be like this year. It's always fun. Gosh, you're going to Florida. The shuttle launch. One of the, uh, as uh, Jennifer was mentioning to me earlier, uh, a good friend of ours who is a dean of students at Southwest Baptist University says that's, what, that's one of the three things that you should see before you die, is to see a shuttle launch. And, and when he describes it, when he describes it to a classroom full of kids, college kids, mind you, goosebumps, when he just describes it. So you, I, I know y'all are excited about it, but I don't think you know how exciting and how, what a unique opportunity you'll have for that. Going, <laughs> well, yeah, so please pray for good weather. That's exactly right. Because we, they don't get to stay two nights, you know, so you've got to hope it happens then. Going to Disneyland is always a treat, Disney World, and seeing that. Um, you know, we, we, we've had just, just all sorts of neat things that are going to happen for you guys on the trip. Not everything's going to be the greatest thing. Uh, I can just look at Bimo and say, August 1st, 1978, he knows exactly <coughs> Amarillo, Texas with Barb Crumley. Oh, yeah. Think about it. <laughs> And that was the day we actually didn't, hadn't even done anything wrong. It was just a peremptory 15-minute chewing out she gave us because she thought we were maybe going to think about doing something wrong. <laughs> so I don't know where she got that idea. I really don't. And I know none of your current sponsors will be that way, so you don't have anything to worry about that because none of you guys will even think about doing things like that. I know. So I, I know you don't have to worry about that. But there's also going to be neat things that you'll experience, too. Um, you know, we've, we've, had, you know, we've had some great worship services. Uh, we had one in Minnesota with Mark Thompson in Faribault, Minnesota. And to this day, I mean, I can, you know, I can think about that 20-some years ago, 25 years ago, and what a great experience that that was, meeting Dr. Norman Vincent Peale at the Guidepost headquarters. And, 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 and more recently, just the different ex worship experiences that you all will get to share. And I just think that's great that you would have that opportunity to do that. Uh, do that. Everybody's got their unique talents, everyone in this group. Um, not everybody is the world's best singer. Not everybody is the world's best performer. But some of us are really good at getting the suitcases just arranged just so in all those cubby holes. And some of us are really good at making sure that the sound or the lights are set up or that the risers are set up, that everything is the way it's supposed to go. We all have our unique talents, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the Bible talks about that. The Bible talks about the fact that, you know, the body of Christ is made up of many parts. We aren't just the eyes of Christ. We aren't just the hands of Christ. We aren't just the mouth of Christ, the legs of Christ. You know, we can't have a body that's just made up of all eyes or all mouths or all hands. It takes all of us and all of us sharing our unique talents. And that's what's so great about this group is the fact that you all do get to bring your talents that you have and bring those and share those, not just for your own benefit, but for the greater good of the glory of God, spreading the word. And that's exactly what, you know, what, what this is about and what you guys are about 
And why is that so important? Well, you know, we can go to John chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. And that's what you all are talking about. That's what this sermon and song is about, is the Word. Not just the spoken or the printed Word, not just the spoken Word of Christ, but you all actually living the Word and living your life for the better of Christ. And you do that in how you live, you do that in how you act, and how you treat others, and how you face everything that's put up in front of you on the next two weeks of your tour. And uh, doing that gives you such a unique opportunity to solidify a great place for you uh, in God's future kingdom. And you know, there's probably even going to be some time on this tour maybe where you're going to feel that emotion. And you're going to feel that come through you. You're going to feel the Holy Spirit come down in you. And that's, that is such a great feeling. And uh, I, I, I am so hopeful that you all will be able to experience that. Those of you who have sung before, I know you have. And it's so easy to do because all you're doing is opening your heart and opening your mind to the Word of Christ and to what you're singing about and to what you're living. Because if you do that, God just flows right through you and it just shines right out there to everyone for whom you're performing that night. <clears throat> you're giving them a treat, but more importantly also and personally, you're giving yourself a great treat too. So uh, <clears throat> as uh, Jesus talked about prior to uh, ascending back into heaven, go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. That's what you're doing. You're preaching that word. I know you think maybe well, we're just preaching it to, we're preaching it to the choir, so to speak, because you're going to, but it isn't just, you know, first of all, a lot of people you sing for may not be saved. There's people there, but more importantly, it's how you live and how you're preaching and how you're living your life every day of tour and every day when you get back. So I encourage you all to have a lot of fun, live the life that Christ has given you, come back, change people, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in two weeks.